Hello beautiful souls. Welcome to my newest pick a card reading and this one is titled your trick or treat reading. In today's reading we will look into your current energies, your tricks also known as energies not supporting you that you need to let go. Number three, your treats aka energies supporting you that you should nurture. Remember that we are the creators of our own reality and whatever we focus on grows. So it is our choice whether we choose to focus on our tricks, aka energies not serving us, or our treats, the energies backing and supporting us. So today in theme of the Halloween or the October, the autumn time, um, I chose these little necklaces. So option number one is going to be the cat. Option number two is the Frankenstein, and option number three is the witch. So just go ahead and choose which pile you're most drawn to, and I'll see you at your pick. Those of you who chose the cat, this reading is for you guys. So let's first start off with your zodiac card. We're going to look into your current energy. So we're going to look at the energy surrounding you, the part of your personality most dominant, and the part of your life that is the most in focus right now, the most important. So we'll start off with your zodiac card and this will represent the energy surrounding you. So this could represent you or a person that you know or just this energy in general. So we have Pisces. The energy is wistful, endlessly loving, compassionate, and forgiving. So very compassionate, loving, forgiving energy. Um, this is a water sign, so lots of emotions involved. Um, um, kind of daydreamy, fairy tale-like energy. Um, when I see Pisces, I always think of like fairy tales, unicorns, mermaids, the dreamy land. Um, you know your internal happy place and then we have the planet card and this card is going to represent the part of your personality most prominent and you have Uranus your potential for sudden change enlightenment or awakening so this reminds me of like the tower card so it's like you all of a sudden realize a change that needs to be made and maybe that was due to some big event that kind of shocked you like with the electricity here, it really shook you, it shocked you. But through that experience, you realize that there's this change that needs to be made. And maybe that's what was brought on this loving, compassionate, and forgiving energy was this event that just kind of shook you. Because these are your current energies. So if you went through something that was pretty shocking, but in return due to that event kind of enlightened you, um, this is definitely your reading. And then you have the part of your life that's gonna be the most affected and you have the second house. So your assets, finances, and the things that you value. So due to this big change, this big abrupt change, um, I want you to see it in a positive light, okay? So see it as this needed to change, this whatever the situation was either needed to end or this event happened in order to help you with your finances and your assets and bring you more abundance into your life, okay? So the first question we're gonna find out is what's stopping you from your growth? So these are the tricks. And you have a wild. So this card talks about a wild, untamed spirit within you that needs to be released. So that is what's currently stopping you from manifesting, you know, more abundance. So expressing whatever it is that you're holding inside that you feel you'll be judged for or, you know, whatever that wild spirit is within you that you want to express, the time is to express this. The time is to go out on adventures and shine your light in places you haven't been. Extend your boundaries, okay? This is what's preventing you, is that you aren't releasing this wild, untamed spirit within you and allowing yourself to express this. Okay, and then what do you need to leave behind? And I brought pulled from two decks on these ones. So you have meditation and lust. 
so lust is something you need to leave behind um i'm feeling like you're needing to meditate and connect more with your um with yourself and your true wants and desires um maybe you currently were attracting partners where it was just really lust based and how you are going to kind of overcome this obstacle um, is through meditation and this is what needs to be left behind this is a trick so these lustful relationships and um, situations that you may be in this is all this is holding you back and meditation is really what's going to help you through this and help you grow so i also have um, some mini decks that i pulled from that's going to go along with what you need to leave behind so we have action the garden and the gate and the door to romance. Yeah, you need to take immediate action on lowering your gate, lowering your guard, and opening your heart to true romance instead of kind of like superficial things, um, you know, the lustful things, really opening your heart and truly being vulnerable to someone. So you're being asked to kind of run from these ways, kind of let your guard down and open that door so you're open to receiving um, a beautiful relationship. Um, but yeah, immediate action and just being able to really lower your guard. All right. And then the next cards are going to be, what do you need to move forward with? And you have euphoria. Euphoria is the cosmic connection to the magic within and around you. And then rejuvenation. Rejuvenate your body, mind, and spirit with a fresh, renewed approach to life. So yeah, a new approach to life. Being more euphoric. So these are the energies backing you. These are your treats. So rejuvenating yourself, your mind, body, and spirit. So a whole revamp. Cleaning everything up, getting it all shined up, getting yourself feeling fresh and new is really going to help you feel really euphoric and surrounded by love, okay? And then also, there's a couple more cards I pulled for what you need to move forward with. So you have co-create and buy the book. So yeah, I feel like you need to link up with others because both of these are about kind of linking up with others that maybe have come before you that are after whatever it is that you're after, whether that be career, passions, relationships. You could even talk to elderly couples about advice if that is your biggest want and desire at this time. You know, whatever it is for you, it could be your passions, careers, like I said, and to create with these people. Maybe have them teach you, bring you underneath their wing, okay? This is the energy you need to move forward with is um, connecting with like minds, connecting with people that are on the same path, have the same journey as you, okay? And now we're going to talk about, um, also this is, what knowledge do you need to gain, okay? Think about it. That's your angel message. So you're going to gain the knowledge to help you through this by kind of going within and really thinking about it. This might take some deep thought. There's also one more card that I pulled that might give us a little more clarity on what knowledge you need to gain. Awakening. Yeah, this is going to be in the mind. You are going to gain knowledge by really thinking about things. I feel like you're really going to be questioning a whole lot and analyzing things. And these are your treats. These are your gifts. Your gift to analyze different things and question things and come to your own ideas and understanding about things. Come to a new perspective, a new awakening due to really thinking about things and maybe seeing them in a whole new light. Awakening has been coming out quite a bit for you guys, so I'm loving this energy. All right, so then the next cards are what positive energy will emerge from this whole thing? What is the outcome? What are the positive energies that are gonna come out of this whole thing? Friendship and integrity. I love it. And then it has like the scale, so like Libra energy, but just also balance. So balance and friendship. So you're gonna gain a lot of beautiful friendships out of this. Um, I love, love, love it, guys. And integrity, just knowing that you're staying true in yourself and your truth always make 
the decisions that you know are fair and true to your soul, okay? So I really enjoyed this reading. I hope that you guys did as well. Um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below if this resonated for you guys. But I see beautiful energies emerging. So through all this release and nurture of the positive things, you really are going to gain a lot of true friendships and a lot of more balance and integrity-based actions in your life and um, just true connections. And I love, love, love this for you guys. Bye. Hello, those of you who chose number two, the little Frankenstein. This reading is for you guys. So first off, we're going to look into your current energies. So the first card is going to be your Zodiac card. This will be the energy surrounding you. This could be your energy, another person's energy, or just an energy that is really prominent in your life right now. And you have Capricorn. The energy around you is serious, materialistic, and hardworking. So a very hardworking energy, um, very grounded, slow but steady. You know, he's climbing that mountain, getting to the goals. So I feel like you're working really hard towards something, whether that be at work, your goals, your dreams, your aspirations. Um, just a very hardworking energy, but very grounded and at a very steady pace. And then you'll have your planet card, and this is going to talk about the part of your personality most prominent at this time. And you have Neptune, your fantasies, yearnings, longings, and potential for illusion. So you've probably been daydreaming quite a bit, been in, you know, your own little world, kind of up in your head, um, maybe a little bit distracted, um, kind of in your own mind. So maybe you've been working hard into bringing a lot of your dreams and your ideas into this reality, you know, manifesting what's in your head and bringing it more concrete. And then you have your house card, and this is going to talk about the part of your life most affected at this time. And then you have the 11th house, where the cosmos grant wishes, luck, friends, and social occasions. So yeah, you're at a very lucky time in your life, super exciting, um, where your wishes come true, you get blessed with beautiful friendships, um, lots of fun parties, social occasions it says, so just very beautiful energy. And I feel like that's due to your beautiful state because you have the Neptune, so you're just in this beautiful, um, mystical energy in your own mind kind of creating and just being in the flow and so in return you're attracting luck friends and social occasions but still working hard and steady so i'm loving it so the first card we're going to talk about is what's stopping you from your growth and you have the sexual arts so let's go ahead and read this is your block this is what's blocking you from your flow and it says, bring more light into your sexuality. Keeping sexuality alive is an art form very few people truly understand. Are you sexually attracted to your partner every day? Sex energy only occurs where there's sexual polarity. Everyone has both masculine and feminine qualities to give to each other. The only time there is a sexual spark is when one person is embodying more of their masculine energy and the other person is embodying more of their feminine energy. So yeah, this is just talking about you um, either balancing your masculine and your feminine energies or you and your partner balancing out and coming to um, a beautiful polarity, kind of like the yin-yang where you guys are equal. Neither, you know, your holding your masculine or feminine and they're holding their masculine or feminine and everything is just really balanced. Now, if you're single, this could just be balancing out your masculine and feminine energies within you because like it says, we both, um, we all have masculine and feminine energies and I'm feeling like that's more of what this is to me. Um, that's the deeper message that I'm feeling here, but it could go either way for you guys. And oh, I forgot, you guys got two um, blocked cards, two, or not blocks, but like what's stopping you from your growth. You guys also got home. Let's see what it has to say about home. How do you keep rec recreating home? 
So if you've been feeling kind of like you're in a situation where you don't belong, you're kind of being asked to create a space around yourself that makes you feel more at home. Buy things for your home that remind you of the feeling of home. Surround yourself with you know, just anything that's gonna help you feel cozy and feel more close to home. Maybe you just move somewhere and things are still in boxes. Get yourself moved in and comfortable. Or decluttering your home, cleaning up your home. Just really making your space more comfortable and a place where you feel you belong and you're safe. You know, what your home is supposed to be. So yeah, just balancing your energies and creating a, you know, a sacred space for yourself, creating a homey, comfortable area. All right, and next we're gonna talk about what do you need to leave behind? And there's two decks we drew from. So we have Summon, Beauty, and High Priest of Earth. So you need to leave behind any false beliefs that you cannot, that you do not have the ability to summon anything you would like into your reality. You have the ability to summon any type of wish and have it to be granted because this is the 11th house is, you know, the area of your life the most affected right now. So you're an all time high and luck and um, the universe is completely backing you right now. And you also need to leave behind not seeing the beauty in the everyday little things. Um, this rose is beautiful, but it still has thorns that hurt and can hurt you, just like life. Life is very beautiful, but um, along the way, you know, sometimes we do get poked and we do get hurt. But just seeing the beauty in it all. So leave behind anything that's preventing you from seeing the beauty in it all. And then the High Priest of Earth, just remembering to remain grounded. Leave behind anything that's pulling you off your level. I feel like this is a lot to do with balance. Anything that's, you know, because you have the Daydream card and then you also have the High Priest of Earth. So I feel like it's a lot to do with balancing, you know, your mind and your body. Staying grounded and connected to Earth, but also connected to your soul the source and the spirit so the physical and the non-physical so i feel like you guys are just um balancing this out so maybe you're more you were more in tune with the physical and it's asking you to kind of let down the physical a little more and know that you have the ability to summon as well as yeah angel of balance how crazy and then the fifth chakra gabriel so that talks about your throat chakra, your vocalization, your communication. That's what's going to help you bring more balance. Um, yeah, I feel like this whole reading is about balance. Um, balancing, you know, how hard you work, but then also balancing your connection with yourself and your intuition. And um, really speaking how you feel about things is also going to help a whole lot. Throat chakra is just about speaking your truth. Maybe there's um, poetry that needs to be released from you, um, a song, some music, um, just anything that has to do with voice, voicing your truth, someone you need to speak to, um, just voicing your intention. You know, it's like summon, your wishes are going to be granted, just voicing what you want um, uh, out loud, affirmations. All right, next we're gonna talk about what do you need to move forward with so the energy is supporting you. It says inspiration. An inspired mind is willing to reach beyond limitations. And then courage. Courage is the strength to stand up when it's easier to fall down. So you, the, the energies that are backing you are your inspiration. So if you've been getting inspired ideas, this is the universe you know, pushing you, directing you towards your path. And if you felt like giving up, just know that you have a whole lot of courage supporting you. These are the energies that are really helping you through and directing you on the right path. And that's your inspiration and your courage to always keep moving forward. Regardless of any of the obstacles or trials you may have faced, you have a tendency to just keep moving forward with courage and strength and um, inspiration, act on your inspiration today. And then you also, the other energies 
that you need to move forward with are deep knowing, orphaned, and observer. So just keep moving forward with that deep knowing, that connection with yourself. And then it says orphaned. Yeah, the courage. I feel like that goes along with the courage. So if you've been feeling alone, um, just know that having the courage to continue going on your path, even if that is alone, is what is supporting you, is the right direction, this deep knowing. I feel like you already know the direction you're going. And just being observant, looking for your signs and signals from the universe, being still so you can hear the answers, but just know that you're never alone and that you, the universe is sending you the right people at the right time. All right, and then you also have what knowledge do you need to gain? Dreams. So you are going to be sent the knowledge you need through your dreams. So creating a dream journal or, you know, some way you can document your dreams, setting the intention before you go to sleep to remember your dreams because this is what's going to give you the knowledge you need to gain as well as wickery ethos and this talks about whatever you send out will come back to you so the wisdom that you need to gain is whatever you put out into the universe is going to be returned to you whatever energy you know whatever energy you're emitting is will be returned to you in some way so if you are doing good things know that good things are coming your way so if you've been going the right direction, you've been following your path, you've been trying to be the best version of yourself, know that all that beautiful energy is returning to you and it's on its way back in the perfect moment. It's building up momentum so it can hit you with just waves of euphoric bliss. All right, and then the last cards are what positive energy will emerge through all this? And then you have benediction and cleansing. So you are going to be given the ability to speak and voice your truth. And to know that you are protected in that. And just cleansing of your spirit and your soul, which is really going to open your heart chakra. After you allow these things to fall away, I love how this looks like it's in the fall or in the autumn. So I feel like this is a time where this will be completing for you. And also being able to vocalize something to others that's going to really bring some light and healing to others as well. So the positive energies that are going to emerge from this is that your spirit is going to be cleansed so you can open your heart. And you're also going to be able to share this light with others. So I love this so much, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, give it a like. Comment down below which option you chose. Um, let me know how this resonated for you guys, and I'll see you later. Bye. Hello, those of you who chose number three, the little witch. This reading is for you guys. So the first three cards, we're going to look into your current energies. And the first card is your zodiac card. So this card is going to represent the energy surrounding you. So this could be you, another person, or just the energy that's currently around you. And you have Aquarius. The energy is freedom loving, rebellious, idealistic, and technological. So things involving techno technology, um, you know, kind of broadcasting yourself to the world. Kind of the energy of humanitarian and kind of going against the norm a little bit eccentric kind of different all right and then we have your planet card and this card is going to talk about the part of your personality that's the most prominent and you have saturn the part of you that accepts challenge to gain wisdom so yeah you might have a little weird way of going about um, putting yourself in situations that most may consider a little bit challenging, 
but you face these challenges head on because you know all the wisdom and all the blessings that you gain from these experiences. So you're not afraid to kind of go through the nitty gritty times because you are aware of the beautiful wisdom that you gain through these experiences. And then maybe this is what you'll be sharing with the world. I kind of like struggled with that card a little bit at first, but it's making a lot more sense. Maybe you'll be sharing this wisdom that you've gained through these trialing experiences or that things that most would consider obstacles with others, you know, and being celebrated for that because it looks like these people are really excited and um, really feeling the light from you. And then you have your house card and this card is going to talk about the part of your life that is most affected. And you have the seventh house. The area of your life is about long-term significant partners, romantic, business, or family. So this could involve your business, romantic partners, um, family, anything that is really long-term. And um, this is the area of your life that I feel like you're the most focused on right now is your long-term relationships and partnerships or even possibly a business, it says. And um, you may have learned a lot of wisdom through these um, partnerships and maybe you have a beautiful union already right now and you have wisdom to share with others on how you two have made it this far. Or maybe you have went through a lot of trialing experiences through past relationships and you have a lot of wisdom to share with others on you know what you gain through those experiences so the first card is going to talk about what's stopping you from growth and you have entrapment so any way you feel chain bound or kind of dictated by like somebody has their authority over you this could be a person place or thing just feeling trapped and confined by something Something has made you feel like your free will is not at play. Um, I feel like you're feeling very caged in. And this is what's stopping you from your growth. I'm going to read you guys a little paragraph. Or not paragraph, a little quote. It says, you're letting too many things in your environment control, in your, control your life. So yeah, it's talking about allowing external circumstances to control your internal world so i feel like you're in the process of learning how to not allow things that are happening on the outside of you to affect your your vibe your energy and your internal world i'm currently learning this as well it's uh um is something that I'm practicing. I would say, you know, these things that we do to better ourselves, we have to first come into practice of them. We're not going to gain them right away. So now we have, what do you need to leave behind? And I pulled two decks for these. And you have playful and confidence. So you need to leave behind the seriousness and just start to be a little more playful, connect with your inner child a little more, leave behind anything that does not help you feel ultimately confident in yourself. And I feel like just connecting with your inner child and bringing out that playful spirit, that youthful energy is really going to give you the confidence that you need. So what you need to leave behind is anything that is preventing you from from feeling like you don't have the time to play and have a good time and anything that's preventing you or pulling you away from your confidence in yourself. And then also what you need to leave behind, we have the seventh chakra, Archangel Ariel, and door to personal healing and happiness. So you also need to leave behind anything that is clouding your connection with source. And how you're going to do this is through your personal healing and happiness. So I feel like you'll be going through a stage where it's a very huge healing and you're going, it's like multiple things are going to be need to be left behind and healed, but this is ultimately going to give you a very clear connection with source. 
you know, I feel like you guys are probably pretty advanced because it's like you're clearing out your crown chakra. So you've probably done a whole lot of work already. And you know that door to personal happiness and being fully healed is opening for you. Yeah, and this woman has a book, so it's like you have so much to share. I feel like you guys have been on a very long journey. You have so much knowledge and wisdom through your experiences. That's why you guys are going through this um, little stage here, you know, to complete, to complete your healing. All right, so the next cards are what do you need to move forward with? And as well, I draw from two decks for these. And you have relaxation. Stop your world from spinning by partaking in well-deserved moments of relaxation. So yeah, move, what you need to move forward with is just taking a break, taking the time to relax when you need it. And then manifestation. Turn desires into reality by activating the power of manifestation. So, yes, move forward with your manifestation. Move forward with turning your desires into reality. I feel like you've already probably manifested a whole lot of beauty into your life. And these are the energies that are supporting you. These are your treats. These are the things that you need to nurture. Relaxing, taking that time for yourself and your manifestation. These are what you need to focus on, not these external circumstances. We just need to focus on us and making sure we're rested and our manifestations and things that we want. Keep our thoughts on the things that we want. As well as what you need to move forward with is truth be told. So taking off that mask, if you have any, and allowing yourself to open your heart. Really allowing the love to flow out of you and being open to new possibilities. You know, after you've unmasked what was blocking your heart, which I think is those external circumstances controlling your internal world, I feel like once you come to a peace within yourself that's when you're going to let that guard down and be able to open your heart and that's what is these are your treats that's what's guiding you towards your happiness and then we have what knowledge do you need to gain and you got nurture yeah nurturing yourself and others it's kind of like a spark because these are i'm really attracted to the lightning bolts I feel like all these events, you know, aka tower moments or moments in your life that really shook you or shocked you, you're being able to grab a hold of and nurture yourself through these memories. And that's how you built up that big book of wisdom that you've gained that you have to share with others. See how the boy is just grabbing the bolt? So you're grabbing those experiences that you used to kind of tuck away and pretend that didn't happen and really grabbing them and nurturing them. So you're loving yourself through them and no longer fearing them. That's the knowledge that you're gaining through this. Um, we have one more um, card for the knowledge you need to gain. And then you have fertility. Look, these two partner cards, these are a lot alike. So long-term relationships. You're gaining knowledge about long-term relationships or you have knowledge that needs to be shared about long-term relationships. Both these are like shadows of two people. So maybe you could do like some like, I don't know why this came to my mind, but like couples shadow work. Um, just helping couples through the dark times, the shadowy times. I feel like you have a lot of knowledge. You have something special in that sense. Through your experiences. So I bet you are just extremely tough because you had to have went through a whole lot to be at this level and 
be able to have all this information and this wisdom and this knowledge and you really can help a lot of people even if that's just those around you you know just by being you you're very inspiring and then the last cards are going to be what positive energy will emerge okay and you guys got three cards so you've got empathy evolution i love it and inspiration like i just said like you are inspiring and also with the globe again look at this shining light on the globe on the world to those around you due to your knowledge and your wisdom or whatever it is you have to share however you share yourself and express yourself that could be through art music your words i really feel like your words are part of your purpose this is part of your light something to do with your throat chakra something to do with some knowledge and wisdom that you have because you are evolving and you have the ability to help others evolve as well due to your knowledge and you're being asked to share this because you are empathetic it's like you can empathize with others you're probably an empath but you easily empathize with others and you're just able to share your story in such a genuine and kind and understanding way. It's like others want to open up to you. So you're like the perfect candidate for helping others in some way. And I feel like that has to do with relationships or love or self-love or just in some way. That could be through music, just whatever it is that you do best. You do this in a way of like being so relatable because you're the empathy it's like you really do truly relate with these people with to your heart and they will relate with you in the same way and your music i keep being called to say to music because you have went through experiences and you did not let them knock you down you had the courage to evolve and you are inspiring wow guys this reading was on fire you guys are amazing and I love you guys so, so much. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you chose this pile because you guys are super incredible, inspiring, and you are part of the evolutionary process of all of us because you were able to get through your experiences. And you are just like on your, I think like you're wrapping up stages of really completing your evolution so you can share what you've gained with others and that is so beautiful so yeah i love you guys so so much bye hey guys these are the decks that i used for the reading so i have astrology reading cards heal yourself reading cards angels of atlantis witches wisdom indigo angels witchlings and the wisdom of the house of night I often get asked what decks I use, so I thought I would make this quick little short clip to show you guys which ones I use today.